It's John and John. We out here at Jaguar Fitness. We're about to do some back and bicep. We're going to explain and break down how we're doing the sets to you, how we're doing the reps, why we're doing the reps, why we're doing the sets, because we're crazy. Try and keep up, everybody. So here we go. We're going to roll through this a little quick. We uh, usually start off with opening the back up, opening the lats up. Start with behind the head, uh, lat pull downs. This is really good for building the traps, scapula. Again, getting the blood flowing into the lats, getting you rocking, getting you ready to actually be able to propel some weight. That way you're not just moving stuff from point A to point B. Construction workers move stuff from point A to point B and sometimes they don't look the best. So we wanna make sure that we're actually activating the muscle. We got the stimulus there, we got the, the blood in the right spots. So we do that, 15 reps, four sets. One, two, three, 15. Then we go ahead and go to the front lat pull down. So we go transition straight into that. Um, right now, um, we actually at the end of every uh, set, every four sets, we're doing a drop set probably see me doing this where we do half the weight double the reps and that's to really um, bring out some of the detail that we're needing especially since um, I got a show yeah, I got a, I got a show in five days in a week so you're gonna see that and uh, we're three weeks out from the Ronnie Coleman so we're gonna start uh, progressing towards that as well by doing this high intense training you don't you don't you get your cardio in so if your diet's on point already and you're about six weeks out you don't have to worry about the cardio because this is your cardio then we're gonna do the, the close grip, V grip pull downs. So do, again, it's gonna do more lats. It's gonna target um, the, the traps. You wanna keep your back, arch, chest up, parallel with the ceiling. This is really gonna help. At this point, we superset it actually with um, uh, wide grip, wide, low, low rows. So we're gonna bring the, the bar to the belly button. You wanna make sure you got your hips extended back, your leg, knees slightly bent, pressure on your heels. Squeeze. Squeeze in at the back end, draw the elbows back, bring the shoulder blades together, and then stretch it all the way. A lot of people short arm this one, don't do that one. This is a superset. You're gonna see us, one person doing 15, other person doing 15, then we're gonna swap, 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 swap. Again, we're gonna do this for four sets, and on the fourth set, we're gonna drop down for the fifth set, I guess you can count that, uh, and we're gonna do a, a drop set, half the weight, double the reps. So that means we go to 30 reps, and whatever weight we're doing, at the end of that fourth set, we're gonna do half. Okay, now we're gonna do uh, the high row face pulls, but we use a bar instead of the rope. And then we also do the face pulls with the cable. Uh, we use the rope over there, we superset that. Bang, 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 bang. bang Four bang. sets of 15, and we do drop sets in that as well. Uh, and before you get started, you probably won't do drop set, but as you go, you should do drop set. It brings, like you said, the detail. And that's what you wanna do, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yep, yep. Um, so after we get done with that there, we're gonna go ahead and head over to our T-bar functionality. Now you can do the beast. You, you can do the T-bar from the ground up. You can do the T-bar from the machine. Uh, we are using the machine. Uh, the ground uses a lot of hips, uses a lot of legs, a lot of quads, stuff like that. Glutes. We want to really eliminate the lower body, especially since we did that yesterday, and uh, focus on just the back. So um, we're gonna we have two different style grips we're gonna use here. We use the, the wide grip. We're gonna come high, and then um, we're gonna use the inside grip, and we're gonna come low. Uh, when you're doing these, you want to make sure you keep your chest against the pad. Um, when you arch and lean back, it focuses, it transitions the power or the strain rather to your lower back, and it really leads out the whole upper and mid back, which is what we're trying to target with that. Go ahead, Dad, next up. Then next thing you know, we go to the seated low uh, rows. We, we start off with the single 15 each hand, 15, 15, and then we do a double for uh, 10. And uh, we do that four sets of 15 as well. And then we go over to the dumbbell. Yep, yep. Well, actually, oh. uh, Dad's doing, uh, this is where, you know, me and him do the same thing, and then I have some weak, pot, weak spots. This is, uh, my back's been a real uh, concern for me. It's a weak area. So while he's actually doing low rows, which uh, we put in there at the back end for the repetitions um, like he, and the uh, intensity factor, because we're doing 15 on one arm, 15 on the other arm, and then 10 uh, with both arms. So actually, we're getting total 40 reps doing that one set. While he's doing that, I'm actually working and doing uh, single arm rows uh, with the dumbbell. And uh, I'm doing 10, 10, 10, 10. Uh, my goal is to try and knock out two sets of 10. So that's two, one, 10 on this arm, 10 on this arm, 10 on this arm, 10 on this arm. 
and I should be on time with him where I can run over there after and he should be done with his set and then I hit my first set there and I'm going back. And that's to help bring out, again, my lats, uh, my mid-back was really uh, area of concern, my spinal rectus is area of concern. And um, then I have one, I usually knock that out on the end of my second set. So I'm able to do them four sets in conjunction with that uh, low row. And I, then I finish up with some traps. Again, that's an area of concern for me. Um, while I'm doing my traps, Dad is doing... I'm doing the pull-down, single arm pull-down. And what that does, that targets my, my upper lat, the spread, the part right underneath the armpit. Uh, by doing that, you bring it up and down, you squeeze. And it really bring out the detail and the thickness in your lats. When you do a front lat spread, when you're standing there, you got a good, it looks really good and thick. You don't look thin. So I do four sets of 15 of that. Uh, usually around about between uh, 45 to about 75 pounds, it depends. You don't want to use a lot of weight. You want to just get the full stretch up and down. Stretching is very important in what we do. Because uh, if you don't stretch, you can't pose. So. We get done with that. We can, it concludes all of our back uh, workout that we're doing. Uh, comes. Um, then we're going to transition straight over into bicep, which is one of my least favorite activities. So is mine. <laughs> I start off with the, uh, there's a preacher curl machine that's set up for 21s. Uh, you can bottom load it, mid load it, and high load it. Um, so when you do that, you actually simulate 21s from a preacher curl position. Ooh, this machine is amazing. Dad had to go all the way out to Tennessee to buy this thing and drag it back on the trailer. What was that? What was that drive? Like 24 hours or something? Yeah. 24 hour drive just to get this machine. But uh, we, we did it before and uh, we both had like 17 inch arms. We had 21 inch arms when we finished. So, so it, we, it's, it's coming up. And the way we perform this uh, uh, workout or that that particular machine, you load the weight on the bottom, hit 15 reps. Within like 10 seconds, you just change the weight to from the middle, from the bottom to the middle. And you put the plate there, hit another 15 reps. Go straight from the middle to the top, hit another 15 reps. 15, 15, 15, that's one set. We do four sets, so it comes to a total 180 repetitions for bicep starting out with that preacher curl. And um, while I'm doing that, Dad's actually, he prefers to do his straight bar work first. So he's over there doing... I'm doing standing straight bar curls. I do uh, four sets of uh, 15 uh, of straight bar, then I, I superset it with four sets of 15 with the easy curl bar, same weight. And, uh, inside, outside, yep. outside. Yep. In, inside, outside. outside. Uh, yeah, so after when uh, when I get done with the preacher curl, Dad's doing uh, his, his superset over there. Um, reason that it's a little different, I find that with my biceps, it, again, it works better for me to have uh, blood in there before. Um, Dad likes to do his compound, which is going to be with the free weight um, uh, rendition before. So not a big deal. It's just I want to get it out of the way, man. We get that. Oh, well, that and uh, <laughs> you know, it's a it's a time thing. Yeah. It's a timing thing. If both of us are doing that, then, you know, you're waiting a long time to get through that machine. So you got a workout partner, you got a regiment. Um, don't be afraid to get outside your box and make this thing happen. If you one time wanted to hit that first, and then I do the other thing first. Um, so after I get done with that, I do go to the straight bar, do exactly what he was doing. Um, I do a super set between the, the uh, straight bar, but I do my, instead of doing the easy curl bar, I go and I do a seated dumbbell curl. I go from pronated to supermated grip. It, it's a brachialis, it's a whole bicep, short, short long head. At the top, you want to make sure you're turning your wrist out and squeezing. Thumb should be pointed away from your shoulders. That helps bring out the peak a little bit more. So you actually got a little mount top, like Popeye did when he ate the feet. Yeah. Now, as, uh, when I get done with that, Dad? Then I, I go straight to the dumbbells myself, and I do alternate standing dumbbell curls. Uh, I do four sets of 15 of them, and then I also do, I do one arm single curls. Uh, superset with that and uh, four sets 15. As you see, everything is high intense training. We're not taking no time of sitting there talking. We're just going from one exercise to another exercise. This is what calls volume training and conditioning. It gives you that crystal look when you when you get down to your show. You look like man, it's just dialed in. It looks really good. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And so the isolation curls. When we conduct those, that's the next one up. When we conduct those isolation curls, um, we do a full range one followed by a half range one. So we go, uh, we wanna make sure the elbow is away from the body, the numbers are facing the mirror so you can see the numbers. You're gonna come up full range, you come all the way down, full stretch, and then you're gonna come up half. And it's gonna be two, and then a half, three, and then a half, all the way to 15, and you alternate left, right, left, right, left, right. Right arm's resting when the left arm's going, left arm's resting, right arm's going. 
Um, to con at the end of that one there, I move over from hitting the long head, short head, and it's just strictly the brachialis. Um, there's a, a few different renditions of hammer curls that we actually incorporate. Um, but what I what I do with is all three. So I hit uh, 15. I have two dumbbells in my hand. You see me hit 15 with one side, 15 with the other side, 15 alternating, um, and you can see at least 10 at the same time. So it comes to a total of about 45 reps for one arm, um, and you know four sets of that. So into that whole thing, finish up uh, the bicep routine uh, for me is 180 reps. Then I, I, I go into my hammers, and immediately after my hammers, I go to wrist curls. I do dumbbells, standing wrist curls, four sets to 20. Then I do the straight bar, four sets to 20. Um, then I am, I'm done with my, uh, my arm workout. Um, yeah. so if, you, if you like these videos, if you have any questions, subscribe. And uh, maybe we get this thing off the ground and start you know, helping people get results, because that's what we want to do. Um, we're not uh, saying we're experts at this. We just do this. We do what works. We don't know all the terminologies. And we, we, we go by what works. And, uh, and we're not stuck in a box. We go outside the box if we need to, uh, to make it work. So that's what makes me and my son get along so good. He, he has different ideas, and I'm willing to do his ideas. He's willing to do my ideas. And this is what makes it really keep the body growing. So yeah, at the end of the day, just make sure you have a plan. Um, what that was saying, if y'all have questions, we, go, we went through it kind of fast. Uh, we were about to get into it. So if you have any questions or uh, concerns, leave a comment for us. Um, definitely subscribe, please share the video. Um, that way we can try and build more content for you guys and make this thing happen. And pass it on, please, pass it on. <laughs>